Hi, I'm Andy Kinder and today you join me at our trade show where we're going to be showing you around some of the new products we've got coming out here in 2021 and also 2022. I've got a few little sneaky products which you've not seen before which we're going to show you. Both myself and Head of Business Development Steve Bellion are going to be showing you some of our products as we walk around the room and see what's coming on offer from us at Maybe UK. So without further ado, let's get on and show you a few bits. Right, well, here we have our new Signature SXI 36 compact seat box. Now, I think this box for £399 is an absolute steal. Something a bit different, something what's not been done before, but the great feature is this box, nice and compact, and it has a deep storage base. Now, there's a lot of anglers out there that like that extra room so they can keep the reels, they can put boxes of feeders in there, you know, up-length boxes, things like that. Not everybody wants to take rods to the bank already assembled. They like somewhere to store everything. And, you know, we're classing it a really good feeder anglers box as well. You know, the feeder matches are really, really popular and people just want something that you can get set up with on the bank, be comfortable, be sturdy and cover everything what they could physically want in a box. So let's look at some of the key features. First of all, like I'd mentioned before, You've got that really, really deep base in which to store all your bits and pieces in, which I think is brilliant. Clip system, lovely locking clip system, which is on the box, absolutely fantastic, foolproof, not a problem. You've got the sliding side drawer, one drawer on it, yeah, not to everybody's uh, appeal, but there's added extras you can buy, like double front drawers, extra side drawers, if you want to make that box tailor it to your own needs, this is what it's all about. It comes on a floating H-frame, so you bigger people out there, I know I'm not the biggest in the world, but for you bigger people who've got really long legs, because it's on a floating H-frame, you can literally raise it to get the perfect stability. Sliding foot plate, in and out, what more could you ask for? Perfect box for the money. Right, well here we have it, the Signature SXI 36 top of the range seat box. Well, what more do you want? Absolute value for money, £599. It is the all singing, all dancing of boxes. Has everything on it, loads and loads of tray units, loads and loads of accessories, loads of little key features, what make this the box to have on the market. And let's show you some of the features. For a start, You've got the sliding side drawer, which is exactly the same as the other box on the compact, but the other features is the added tray units to store all your different things. There's one, if you want to put pole rigs in it, little look boxes, you name it, can go in there. But there's also another one. So two units on the top. But again, you can tailor it to suit your own needs. If you want to add extra trays, they're all available for them. They can be added onto the top. Right, the other key features, you have a sliding tray system. Now this sliding tray system, please do not try and pull it out. It's not actually made to be pulled out of the box. It's there for you to take your other extra tray units out. That actual box it, tray, it slides both front and rear. So when it's pulled out at the rear, you can put things like your flask, got to have a flask, haven't we? Flask on it, you can also put a bucket on it, but please don't try and pull it out of the box because it's not designed to do that. Here's your extra trays. Again, loads and loads of room, loads of storage for winders, for floats, for literally everything. You get three of them on that base unit. And then we get the foot plate. The foot plate, sliding foot plate again, which is absolutely bang on. Packs away, dead easy for storage into your car. In my opinion, I think it's the best seat box on the market at its price range, 599. Well, here we have it, we have an exclusive for you people out there. And I think this is the absolute gem of the range, uh, what's going to be available for next year. 
and it's the Reality Evo seat box and what an absolute beauty uh, we've got here for you. Dare I tell you, it's only £299 and what a lot of box you're getting for your money at £299. So let's take a little bit of a closer look. For a start, it has double front drawers, big storage capacity at the top, you know, for winders, up boxes, things like that. You've got quite a deepish tray to put everything in there. Lovely sturdy clips. Again, nice comfy seat, which, yeah, we all need to get comfy when we're fishing. We don't want none of these bad bikes. So nice comfy uh, seat. And you've also got that deeper tray unit again for storing reels and things like that. I think the people it's going to appeal to is a, the younger anglers, and B, definitely some of the uh, the senior anglers out there what want a nice box but don't want to spend a fortune but still need that little bit of storage facility, and you've got it there in that box. It's on a floating H-frame, so you can tailor it to suit your needs, but if you're long-legged, short-legged, whatever, you will be able to get this box and make it absolutely perfect for you. Sliding foot plate as well, which comes as standard with the box. There's no extras to buy for the box. All comes, as you see it, as standard. Sells for 299 an absolute winner uh, in my eyes and will appeal to a lots and lots and lots of anglers out there. So check the new Reality Evo seat boxes out. Right, let's talk side trays. No good being uncomfy on the bank if you haven't got the perfect side tray to suit your needs. And we've got a vast array of side trays here at Merva. Three new ones, plus our existing sliding ones, which we already do. But let's talk to you about the new side trays for this year. For a start, we've got two side trays with awnings. We have a medium sized one, just, you know, just for them little bits of, you know, nothing worse on a winter's day than having a big side tray when you've only got a few baits or a little tray which you can keep it back here just for that added little extra bits what you might need we've got the medium one a great little tray for just keeping them nice few little bits on or any added extras with the awning on top then we've also got the large well this literally covers everything get all your bait tray needs on there when it's that horrible weather, which we do get a lot here in the UK, you've got the awning, which comes really, really, really tight to you to keep out them nasty elements of winter and rain. Not worse than getting all your bait wet and not being able to uh, get it covered. Now, the other good thing about these trays, you can see that they're fully padded this way. So, you know, you drop a pole section on them or things like that, it's not going like, to damage any, in, any potential pole section breakage, things like that. Just a nice little touch, not, you know, it's not the be all and end all things, but a nice little touch which makes them totally unique to us and fully self-supporting. All our trays, all we do now are all fully self-supporting, so you don't need that extra leg to put in loads and loads of stuff on there. They will literally, they'll take any weight or ground bait and things like that, so fully self-supporting. So there we have the two all inside trays. And the other, and I must say, this, this one is, is my favourite. I've really, really fell in love with this one. It's the new feeder tray. Again, totally different to the feeder tray what we did before. This is a metal version. It's a metal tray which, when it's put down in position, you can actually lock. So if you want to put your bait in that to transport it to the bank or any kit, it's locked in there. It's not going to be falling all over and things like that. Waterproof, but the other key feature to this, which is different to all the others what are out on the market, you've got this raised little side here, which as a feeder angler, you're actually sat there like that and you, you know, you're moulding a method feeder and things like that. This little raised section there puts all your bait, what you need, closer to you while you're fishing, while you're watching your rod. And then you've got the deeper side tray at this side for any extra bait like your ground bait, spare ground bait, mobile phone, things like that, stores in there. What more do we want? Perfect side trays which will fit any box 
out there on the market, 25s, 30s, 36 mil legs. Right, well, here we have our new signature SXI feeder arm. Love it, absolutely love it, as they say. Something totally different to uh, what we've had out before. Fully self-supporting, exactly the same uh, bracket as what's on the side trays. So really, really sturdy, which I think is one of the most important things with, with any feeder arm. There's not, nothing worse than sitting there and it's, it's windy and your feeder arm's moving about and you can't tell, well, you can tell a proper bite if it's a cart, but you know, there's nothing worse than like jumping on the rod thinking you've got that not so a proper bite. That block system makes this feeder arm ultra, ultra sturdy. And some other key features on it as well. We've also got the adjustable middle. So not always can we put the feeder arm in exactly where we want it, but by having this adjustable piece in the middle, we can bend that arm round to tailor exactly where your rod wants to be. Extending end as well, just to get your rod in the exact position you want it to be. And it also has an extending piece if we want to move that rod a little bit further away. For your longer rods, for your 12s, your 13 foot rods, your feeder arm needs to be that little bit further away from you to give that extra support when you're waiting for that one potential winning bite. So that feeder arm, I think, is a real must-have product for this year. And at 39.99, it's an absolute winner. Well, here we have the new reality feeder chair. Now, there's a lot of people go fishing on the banks. They like to sit in a chair. They like the comfy side of it. They like to do a little bit of river fishing. They like to do a bit of roving about and there's nothing better than a chair. Some people suffer with, we're not getting any younger, any of us are not getting any younger, so you need that little bit of comfort when you're out on the bank. And here we have the little reality feeder chair. What more could you ask for? Everything you actually see on this box, the side tray, the arms, the back arm, the rod rest, all comes complete as standard when you buy this chair. And it, it also packs away, falls down, comes in its own bag, carry bag, that you can put in the car or sling on your shoulder. Away you go, down the bank. You've literally got everything there to be fishing for a nice relaxing day on the bank. Right, well, here we have our new rod range for this year. Two new models which we've brought into our range, which I think are really, really good. First of all, I must talk to you about the MVR M2 rods and what a range of rods this is. It's not a massive range. What we've done, we've picked the sizes out, what are the most popular for all you anglers out there and shops selling them. These are the models which sell the best. These are the ones what we've done most of the emphasis on to get them right. So. What we've actually done, we've done a nine, a 10, and an 11 foot feeder, and an 11 foot pellet waggler rod, which I think would cover every eventuality known to mankind in commercials, in most of general commercial still water fishing. But let me talk to you first about the nine foot carp feeder. Perfect for this time of year, an absolute winner. Bomb fishing, bomb and bread, bomb and corn, F1 fishing, Snake Lakes commercials, we've got them nice little short chucks. The nine foot will absolutely suit you down to a T. The other features on all of these rods is the nice flat butt. Flat butt, when you're playing a fish, you've got something which you can lean back into and give them some, some more like pull when they're under your rod tip. What we've also tried to do with these rods, more so in the 10 and the 11 foot feeder, What's different from the original MVR uh, rod range is we've given them more power. They're, they're a lot more of a tippy action, a lot more power through the blank. The fish are getting bigger. They're getting bigger in every commercial. You know, you've every chance of catching a 10 pound, a 14 pound, a 20 pound carp in some of these commercials. And there's nothing worse than when you've got one under your rod end and you're just feeling that little bit undergunned and you can't get it to the top. So this is what we've tried to do with the feeder rods in this range. We've given them 
that little bit more grunt, if you want to call them that, and that little bit more power. So you're going to be the winner, not the fish. But the 10 foot, I think, will be the most versatile in this rod range. It'll cover for casting distances up to 45, up to 50 metres, windy, method feeders, normal feeders, that will, that will be your boy. And also the 11 foot feeder, if you're wanting to chuck that further distance, nothing worse than getting to a venue when you need to get to a distance and it's windy and it's horrible and you want something what's got that little bit more backbone, the 11 foot feeder rod will do you that. In tests, we've actually cast method feeders upwards of 70 metres uh, with these rods. Um, yeah, not every day conditions were, were right, conditions were perfect, but this rod will cast you them distances. So brilliant, brilliant rods, them three in that range if you're doing a little bit of feeder fishing. But no rod range would be complete without a pellet waggler rod. And you've got the 11 foot pellet waggler rod, really light, slim line blank, which for pellet waggler fishing, when you're picking up at that bike, you, you need, again, the flat butt. They've all got Fuji reel seats on these rods and value for money ranging from 110 to 130 pounds uh, across the board. I think we're on an absolute winner with these. Well worth checking out um, if you're looking or you're in the market for a new feeder rod. So there's the MVR M2s. Check them out. The brilliant, brilliant range of rods. And uh, I, bought, I know both myself and uh, some of the sponsors lads have been out and tried them and used them and caught some really, really big fish on them. Uh, I don't like catching little ones myself, so I, I only ever catch big ones on them. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what uh, they've been designed for and they're living up to every expectation what, uh, what we expected of them. Then we move on to the Reality Evo range. Now, most of you have sold realities or seen realities, but we needed to take them to that next level, but not take them out of a price range what is suitable for everybody. And we managed to maintain prices on this entire range and make the rods better. You've got nines, tens, elevens, 12 foot feeders. There's also a 12 foot three piece feeder in that rod. You know, people what haven't got the long rod sleeves or like to pack them down, some people still like the three piece rods. So we've covered every eventuality from nine right up to 12 foot in the feeder range. When it comes to the float range, again, we like to think we've got every base covered on these rods. Starting at 10 foot for your pellet wagglers, the 11s, 12s, there's also a three piece 12 and a three piece 13 foot. Some river lads, you know, there's a lot of, lot of people going back onto rivers, doing a little bit of stick float fishing or a bit of deep still water fishing where they need a 13 foot rod. And we felt we should still be doing a 13 foot rod in this range so we, we have got it covered but i'll just show you a few little uh, increases on them what we've done you can see cosmetic wise it's been jazzed up a little bit perfect make it look you know dearer than, than what it is we've gone with the flat butt again on all the rods not the be all and end all the features but when you're actually playing a fish it's amazing how much more pressure you can apply on that fish and it feels a lot lot better in the hand better guides have also been put on them and the blank itself has also been made better but we have kept the prices very very competitive and that the prices across the range range from between 50 and 70 pounds for the entire range so brilliant brilliant rods uh, in both categories and they'll suit every knee and i've just got one other thing to show you Well, I couldn't not finish off without showing you the fishing kits which we do. This is the feeder fishing kit. We do a float fishing kit and we also do a pole fishing kit as well. Full range, anybody what's starting fishing, coming back into fishing, had a long layoff, wants a full kit to literally get themselves out on the bank. Everything here to get you out on the bank straight away fishing everything you possibly need but we've even made these better for this year. The cardboard box, what these came in, we've actually done away with, and 
they will be coming in this padded bag, padded rod sleeve bag, which will get your rod, your reel, and all your other things, and far easier transportable down there for you on the bank. And it also adds extra value to the product. You've got a 20 quid bag there, uh, which is going to become, and this is how your kits will come to you to be sold in the shops in that ready rod sleeve for next year. Right, well, here we have our landing at Andal range for this year. Starting off right at the very, very beginning and the very, very cheap end, we've got the Reality Andals. Reality Compact. Compact, just like me. Short, compact, breaks down. Perfect for your average angler. Somebody what does a little bit of spinning or, you know, a little bit of lure fishing on the canal, they can actually get this, pack it away, put it in the bag, bring it out, and there you've got your, you've got your two meter handle, which is there. We then move up to the normal reality range. There's the tech apart. There's the telescopic ones available in two, three, and four meter. Cheapest chips. Every day sells uh, them uh, landing at handles of reality ones. Nice finish on them. Nicely cosmetic. What more can you ask for in a good, cheap, quality of landing at handle? What's not really going to let you down? But you want something just that little bit better, we've got the Reality Plus Handles. Now the Reality Plus Handles, far, far lighter, little carbon, carbon composite as well, as opposed to uh, fiberglass ones. And like I said, a lot lighter, subtly finished, slide finish on them, a lot, lot better value, a little bit more money, but a lot, lot better handle. And they're available in two, three, and four meters. And one thing, I use a reality four meter handle myself. I have it as a spare landing net handle in my bag because a, it's a lot cheaper. And we've all drawn them pegs where you need to remove a little bit of weed and things like that. And the last thing you want to be doing is pulling one of your top end landing net handles out and trying to knock a few reeds down and things like that. So I carry a four meter reality plus handle with me in my bag. It acts as my spare handle. If I want to remove any weed, I'll use that rather than using one of my better handles. Great handle, great four meter handle uh, at the right money as well. Move a little bit further up. We've got the MVR cart power handle, 2.7 meter, really, really slim profile on this. So for all you F1 guys out there, what a landing F1s at a ridiculous quick speed and you want that shorter handle but nice and compact in your hand. You've got the MVR cart power handle, 2.7 meters, really slim, lovely with a little handle when you're catching F1s and you're using them short power kits and they're popping up dead close to you. That's the handle for you. And then you want something what's really gonna do everything. You've got the two top of the range handles. You've got the MVR competition four meter handle and you've got the Signature Pro 4-metre power handle. Right, the MVR competition 4-metre handle. What can I say? Absolutely superb. 4-metre uh, handles, I'm telling you now, anybody what's not into using 4-metre handles, they are the future because there's nothing worse than a, a big fish popping up just that little bit too far out and you can't stick that shovel under it and, uh, and get it. But... The other key features about these uh, handles themselves, they are double threaded. So on your four meter, you've got your thread and you've got a thread again on the middle one. So if you don't want to use it at four meters, you want to use it at three or as a, as a full power handle, you've got that middle thread there to screw your landing net handle on. That's available on the MVR. And then we have the very, very top of the range one the Signature Pro 4 meter power handle. Don't have to really say anything about that. It is the bee's knees of handles. It's four meters, it's light, it's very, very strong. It's been made a lot, lot more powerful than the original Signature handle uh, because again, fish are getting bigger and sometimes you need just that little bit more power in the handle. You can see here, it's got reinforcing on all its joints and it's also got the double thread handle should you want the ultimate power handles 
at three meters when you're looking to scoop fish quite quickly. So there we have our full range of landing handles for this, for this year. One to cater every need from beginner all the way through to professional price range to suit everybody. Right, let's talk about luggage. We all need a nice luggage set to uh, match our rods, our poles and things like that. We all want to look smart when we walk down the bank. And here we have our luggage for this year. Two ranges, you've got the MVR luggage and you've also got the Reality luggage. Reality, again, nice, cheap, cheerful, fantastic value for money luggage, what you get. Not a massive range, I must say, uh, in that, but tailored to suit everybody's needs. You know, you've got a nice carry all in the reality range and you've got other old holes and that which we'll talk about next. But reality, great value for money range. But we move across to our MVR range and you've got loads and loads of things in that. And here's the bags what we've got on offer. Obviously the roller come roost bag, does what it says on the tin really. Takes two rollers quite easily, two of your big rollers, and you can also put your roost, your other attachments, your, your feeder arms, your side rests and things like that. They will all go into that one, no problem. There's also a bait bag and an accessory bag. We all take that little bit of extra stuff and the accessory bag comes in really, really handy. Your bait bag, it's fully insulated. So you'll be taking, you know, frozen baits, frozen maggots, your drinks and everything to the bank will all go in that. Also to complement the range, you've got a jumbo carry-all. Oh, people still like, you know, they still like to take carry-alls down with them on the bank or they're going on rivers, room for a keep net, things like that. That's in there. And then you've also got the bait accessory bag. Well, there's a million pockets in that bag. Uh, detachable bottom, you want to put pellets in the bottom, loads of pockets on the side for putting like your pots of wafters and things like that. Uh, so great little accessory bag. A bag really to cover every single need in the luggage range. So let's take you across and show you what all those we're doing. And here we have our hold holes. We'll start with the reality. Just two old holes in that range. You've got the pole old hole, which I must say is really, really, really popular. I think with the onset of ready rod old holes and things like that, people now just like to put a pole into an old hole, couple of top kits in it, and away they go. And then they've also got the rods in the ready rod sleeve if, if they need them. So pole old hole, exactly what it says. You know, it'll, it'll hold your pole quite easily in a couple of top kits in the reality range. We've also got the four tube old hole. Again, it has an outside pocket, takes four tubes quite easily. What I might say is you can sneak another one in there if, uh, if you're careful. So it will take five tubes because people don't always take ready rod sleeves. They like to put a pole in, a couple of spare rods and things like that. Great value for money is the uh, reality range. Couple the old hole with the carry hole. You've got the perfect combination. And there's also uh, a wet net bag in the reality range as well. So we move up across to the MVR range. You've seen all the bags, you've seen all uh, the accessories which we do, but three hold holes in that range. First of all, you've got the six tube hold hole. Again, does exactly what it says on the tick. It's an envelope style hold hole where it opens up with a zip at the top easily get six tubes uh, in that and there's actually a couple of pockets inside for your umbrella for any potential bank sticks uh, which you might want to take some you know some of you river lads you still like to use a bank stick to do your fishing six tube also eight tube available in that should you want yeah 16 meter poles spare rods things like that spare top kits and everything will easily go in them fully padded straps on all these, literally great old hole, really strong, really durable, nice little white clean uh, fabric as well uh, on them, do like about it. This is one of my favourite uh, uh, pieces in the MVR range, do a lot of feeder fishing, the triple ready rod old hole. Now there's loads and loads of uh, other companies, they, they do double old holes and things like that, but the triple for me, 
just, yeah, just gives you that extra, you know, we might carry a bomb rod, we might carry a method feeder rod, and we might also want a pellet waggler. So there you go, there's your three rods. Easily incorporate it into them. And there's also plenty of room inside should you want to take any spare rods, not with reels on, but spare rods literally into your old holes. Feeder matches, they're becoming really, really popular. And that hold hole will suit you any feeder match. Three Merry Maids, a couple of three others in there. Also room for your landing at handle. Brilliant piece of kit. So there we have our old holes for this year. Right, well, I did mention it earlier, the Reality uh, Wet Net Bag. Yeah, great little bag. Uh, if you go in more so, you know, winter time, things like that. Not the biggest bag in the world, but equally it takes two keep nets and your, and your landing nets as well. Fully waterproof, two handles, also a carrying strap as well. Great little addition to the range. You know, you want a couple of nets going down the river, going down the canal, or you don't need many nets on many commercials. Nice and cheap. Load it into your car. I like it. If you're carrying spare nets, if you go into one of these commercials where you've got your main net bag and you may potentially want some spare nets with you in case you're on for a big weight, this will keep them. Keep them in your car. Keep them nice, safe. Keeps the car dry as well. What more could you ask for? Well, here we are. Let's talk about rollers, and there's quite a few in quite a few in the range. But we'll start right down at the very beginning there. Uh, before rollers is the competition rules. We all have top kits where we need to store them on the bank or rods and things like that. Uh, see lots of people putting them onto the floor or onto the bank and things like that. Well, here you're potentially damaging your line. You're potentially damaging your rod rings and things like that. So well worth a four a four-legged roost in which you can just lay your kits onto. You know, they're safe and sound. It's angled in a way that the wind will not blow them out. So yeah, well worth investing in one of them. So there we have the rules. Then we move on to our rollers. And yeah, what good is pole fishing without a roller? No good at all. You need to get yourself comfy on the box and there's nothing finer than having a roller to suit at the back here, which will do the perfect job. And we have a few in our range. Starting away here with the Reality Roller. It just does what it says on the tin. You've got a double extending roller. Literally goes up to about this high. And two end roller struts. Roller bearings in the middle. Perfect everyday roller for, you know, a lot of anglers out there what don't want to spend that much money on a roller but want something that a is going to last and b does exactly what it says so there we have the reality roller then we move further up the range and i must say this is my favorite roller in our entire range what's we, what we do and it's the mvr double roller here it is it's treble extending so any of these eye banks which we go to and on some commercials you know for instance, I can name Woodlands View where you've got that big eye bank at the back. You need the extra height in which to get that roller so you can ship back perfect. And these babies, they do it for me. They tick every single box. I've mentioned the treble extending. You can see you can double ship because of this central bar. So if you're double shipping anywhere, you can roll it that side and then your other on that side. You can see with the upward struts, your pole's not going to physically blow out of them which again i think is a major advantage of this roller and also here we've still got that here you can see there's the hook in the middle and a lot of people ask me the question on the bank what's that hook for well it's to actually weight your roller down we've all had issues in the, the past where rollers have blown over smashing your pole landing on something else well that hook has actually been put on so you can either fill a bucket up or you can hang a bag on there Onto that, your roller ain't going to go anywhere. So, you know, not a massive point of the roller, but I think certainly a key point into why the roller's so good. And that, for me, ticks all the boxes. And it, I am going to say it's our best-selling roller uh, which we do. 
and I see lots and lots and lots of them out on the bank and they are good. And we have also the single roller, this. not got one here at the minute, but the single roller without the centre strut. Not everybody wants that central piece, they just want a flat roller just like this one and we does the MVR one, we do one with a central, just one central roller, all the features exactly the same, but just not this centre bar. Then we go right up to the top of the range and we have the signature Pro Rollers. Well, they are the bee's knees of rollers, these I might say. Fully rollers on all these, really easy shipping. Treble extending again, they literally go way above me. So you're like, which, which I know he's not very tall, but anybody what does incorporate really, really high banks in any way, you want to seriously uh, look at these. The legs actually fall down on this box. I'll, I'll start that bit again. You, you can cut that bit, John, can't you? Box. Yes, the legs on this roller, you can actually fold them inside and you can sit that for a really, really low profile. If you're down and the bank is slightly flat to you, you can keep that flat onto the bank. It ain't going to blow anywhere. Come in their own carry, carry bag, just like all of them. And just a fantastic top of the range roller, which will do everything you need as a roller. Right, let's talk you through reels. Nice, two little ranges of reels. Um, not a lot really to say, a vast range of reels. We don't think uh, you need a vast range of reels. You know, we, we have reels made for ourselves and uh, this range we feel covers everything which we need. And I'll start with the reality. Reality, 3000 reels, brilliant, brilliant little reel, you know come with the line already on. On the 3,000, it's a six pound line. On the 4,000, you've got an eight pound line. Lovely, lovely little reel. Anybody what wants to do any, you know, starting, starting out in fishing, uh, these are the reels which actually go in the starter kits. But lovely little compact reels, nice little drag system on them. Front drag, because most people use front drags now, and yeah, they're the way, they are the way forward, I think, in reels. Yes, we can backwind on them, but great little reel, 3,000 for any, anybody what's doing any light float work, feeder work, short feeder work, things like that. But you want something just that little bit bigger and something what's got a lot more winding power and a lot more capabilities, we've got the reality 4,000 reel. Let me say, you've got four ball bearings in these reels, plus one in the roller itself. A lot, lot more winding power on the 4,000 reels and eight pound line, like I say, so anybody what's going on on commercials or rivers, suit your every need. And price-wise, you know, mid-30s mid -30s to 40 pound on both them reels. Fantastic value for money. But the angler that wants that something that little bit uh, better, a lot, lot more better, a lot, lot more ball bearings and loads and loads of more things available, you've got the MVR reels. Again, two sizes. We think both the three and the 4,000 size will cover every eventuality uh, you should need. And the 3,000, again, loaded with ball bearings and shallow spools on these, which as match anglers, you know, we want that, that shallow spool. We don't want to be loading them up with loads and loads of line. But uh, again, front drag, nice clutch system, really, really quick clutch on these, which again is perfect and a nice little compact reel, smooth as silk, I must say, and uh, lovely compact in your hands. The 3,000 size, I think, for pellet waggler fishing is an absolute, an absolute gem. So there's your 3,000 reel, which is, yeah, nice, compact, sleek, plenty of winding power, which you can't ask for any more in a reel. Then we move up to the 4,000s. Now, I would say this, this is my favourite. I do like the 4,000 reels. Uh, they're the right size, they match the majority of rods what you're going to be using. The 9s, the 10s, the 11 foot feeder rods, they match that reel perfectly. It's a 4,000 size, I do like a bigger reel myself. And you have a lot, lot more winding power in them. Slightly bigger handle and it gives you that extra cranking power, 
which is what's needed. But all the features, same as, as the 3000 reel. You've got your shallow spools, you've got your quick uh, clutch system on them, you've got your air bail, you've got all the ball bearings, your anti-reverse as well. And the main thing for me is you've got that extra, extra winding power on them and really are as smooth as silk. So there we have it. There's the MVR 4000s and the Reality range of Reel. Right, well, let's show you some accessories uh, which we've got here on our board. As you can see, there's a display stand there. Any of you shops, what are after a display stand and want to do exactly what it is here, we'll do it for you. Just contact maybe directly or even contact uh, the rep and we'll look after you with the stand. But let's just talk about what we've got. Full range of hooks. We've both got eyed and spade hooks. As you see, impacts are 10, all packaged up there. Everything from your power carps to your finesse, your pellet carp, your power carp tools, power air rigs, carp wide gate, everything to cover every commercial need, all barbless. Going across other range of hooks, all the match this range of hooks and the full range of hooks to nylon, their bands, spikes, stops, you name it, four inch hook lens, six inch hook lens, 12 inch hook lens, everything covered there. Then we, we've also got other hooks to nylon for hooking baits like maggots, casters, corn, and everything in all round and power carp. Really, really strong diameters in them, so they're worth checking out. You want ready-made rigs? There's everything, eventuality, covered for you there. From F1 silvers to margin fishing to power carp to all round. And if your eyesight's not that good, we've also got the reality range of rigs, which has got the really, really thick bristles. Great for the more senior gentlemen, I'd like to say, or if you just want something, what you can see down the margins, they're your babies, the reality ones. Move further down, dual core needs no introduction, I might say, dual core. It's been on the scene for a while. It's still a very, very popular seller, and I think it will be an even bigger seller going into next year. Trico, love Trico. Absolutely love it. One of my favourites, especially the 1518. I think it's the best margin elastic I've ever used. If you're looking to tame fish from two pound right up to mid twenties, that will tame the beast definitely. And if you really want something, what? Well, physically going to pull you in the 1820. But uh, Trico, totally different in its in its makeup to Julco. A lot, lot more stronger and well worth checking out. Then we move on to accessories. Can't really say lots about them, but there's every little terminal accessory you could ever want in the fact you've got snap links, you've got American snap swivels, you've got the rubber stops in three sizes, you've got the quick change feeder link swivels, you've got bait bands, you've got stops, you've got rolling swivels, you've got quick change link swivels, literally everything to cover all your terminal needs. And then the last but not least thing is line. Line's ever so important. And we've got line from hook links to main rig lines to main carp feeder lines to power float lines and Jurassic as well in bigger spools, 300 meter. So every line to cover every eventuality, every elastic, every accessory, every hook, you name it, we've got it. Right, well, I think there's nothing more important than keep nets in angling. You know, we're in a match. We need to put us fish into something, and hopefully when we finish, we pull out that winning bag. So I'm just going to run you through all the nets which we've got here. Firstly, I'm going to start with the Reality 2.5 metre carp mesh. You see, carp mesh as standard all the way through. At the very, very top, we're on plastic rings. We've tried to keep the price of this down because... A lot of venues now, uh, you know, we, we go in, we need numerous nets and if we can keep the price down and get them right, that's what we've done. So you can see we've got plastic rings all the way through to the bottom three rings where on metal rings, which, yes, weight the net down, perfect for you. You can see it's an easy pull through. There is a pull through handle there for you on this net. Two and a half metres. I think that, you know, that's the perfect size, what, uh, what we're likely to need. 
as far as angle looks go. Grip angle lock on that. It's the same angle lock which we use on every single one of our nets. So although it's the entry level net, you're still getting the top quality angle lock on that. Reality net, it does what it says. If you need any spare nets or somebody looking for a cheap net to add to the nets what they've got or they need loads of nets, there's your reality, perfect. We'll drop that one down there and we move on to our two top of the range nets which we've got this year. First of all, we've got the MVR compact net. Now they're available in two and a half meters and three meters. And now there's one or two key features on these nets, which I want to show you. First of all, the compact design, it's got the top ring, basically the opposite way around to what it should be. And we all know why that's like that. It's so we go on the, the commercials and we can have more nets literally in front of us for catching massive, massive weights of fish. The angle lock, again, like it was on the other, it's on these as well. But one little key feature I will show you on our nets, which is not on others, metal rings all the way through. You can see the metal rings are on the outside, so it's not going to wear out. When the fish are rooting about on the bottom and the gravel, it's not going to wear out. And I think this is the key feature on these nets. You can see the bottom three rings. Now the bottom three rings, when you're coming to pull your fish out, you get to the third ring from the bottom and they're actually made smaller so you can pull it through to weigh your fish. No need for uh, pull through handles on them because there is no need with the bottom rings being, as you can see, that smaller design. Just something little, slightly different to what's out there, but totally unique to our nets with the smaller rings. That's it. Pull through. Jobs are good. Brilliant, brilliant net. The compact net, very, very popular uh, with all the commercial guys. Really, really good. And then we have the standard carp net. Exactly same uh, material, exactly same metal rings on the outside, but instead of it being a compact shape, we've gone back to the traditional net shape. So some people don't like the compact nets. They don't like the way they have to turn the landing net around to, to get them in for the fish. And what I would say, if you go into venues where there's a lot, lot, lot bigger fish out there, a lot of people prefer the net this shape. Again, two and a half and three meters. And same thing again, the bottom three rings reduced in size for that easy pull through. What more could you ask for? Been using these nets quite a long time now and they are literally bulletproof. Absolutely bulletproof nets. What more could you ask for? Two and a half, three meters, a net to cover every eventuality. Right, let's look at some of the most important things that when we are fishing, landing nets. We all need a landing net. Anybody what should physically want to go on the bank and not take a landing net, they are the most important thing. And we feel we've got your every need covered with our range of landing nets. So let's just start here, the very, very bottom end, the reality landing net. Exactly what it is. It's a 45 uh, centimeter net in micro mesh, metal frame, Nice little spreader block there, as you can see, for lift it, lifting your fish out. Great little net, competitively priced, does everything it really says. And anybody what wants a real nice, cheapy landing net, there's your boy. But we have others, and I'm just going to gradually put them on the floor there like that. Right, our next net is the Signature Pro. Now, this is a monofilament net and basically used a lot by the guys that go on the rivers, uh, the drains, silverfish fishing, places like that. It's a monofilament, you know, all these lads are what 
are out there on the rivers and that, you know, barbed ducks are still allowed and this will resist any barbed ducks whatsoever, catching in them uh, and things like that. Three sizes in that net, a real lightweight frame. You've got a 45, a 50 and a 55 in that one. Real lightweight frame, very, very lightweight. Uh, really, like I said, aimed at your silverfish anglers out there to uh, resist any barbs what's physically going to get, get caught in that. Great little net, one certainly worth checking out. And then we move up, we have another three nets in our range. I'm going to show you this new one. These are the new Hyperlite landing nets. Now there is four sizes available in these nets. They start at 45 and they go right up to the big 60 size, 60 centimetre size, which is perfect for you river lads. Anybody who's barbel fishing or do a little bit of lure fishing, the 60 mil size is the one for you. But these are made out of a really, really lightweight rubber. Go through the water quite easily because of the open design on the mesh. And again, they will resist anybody what's going to venues what allow barb ducks. They will resist a barb duck. Commercial wise, the, the 50 and the 55 centimetre are absolutely brilliant if you're catching uh, F1s. You're catching them quickly because of the lightweight of the net and the shear. You can power them literally through the water. But yeah, check them out. They use signature hyperlite landing nets. Very, very good. Metal frame. On the outside, you're not going to damage your line at all when you're uh, catching lots and lots of fish. And a deepest size, easily take uh, a, a big double figure carp in them quite easily. Right, two more nets again in the range. We have the hair net, and you can see why it's called the, the hair net. Really, really fine mesh. So all you guys out there which are using banded up lens and, and things like that, you don't want the bands smashing off this is the one for you. Again, three sizes. This is the 50, there's a 40, 45 and a 50. That is the biggest net we, uh, we do in that range. Again, nice spreader block on that. Perfect for grabbing all of and lifting the fish out. And that lovely, silky mesh on them. So you're not gonna get your bands caught in them. Really, really good. And again, the frame on the outside, so you're not damaging your line. And last but not least, we have the signature free flow mesh there, the commercial one. Very, very popular this net. I would probably go as far as to say it's our most popular net uh, with the air rig uh, net. Exactly the same makeup. You've got the metal frame on the outside. You've got the big spreader block for grabbing hold and lifting them fish out so you're not smashing your landing net pole. A lovely. I'll come back to that. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lovely mesh, a lovely open mesh where goes through the water quite easily and a nice soft material if you don't prefer the rubber ones. And that is the MVR commercial net. That is our range of nets. There's one to suit all sorts of angling out there and all you anglers want to suit all. Well, no show will be complete without having a, look at, having a look at our carbon. And where do we start? Well, for me, it's the absolute gem, the star of the show, the Signature Pro Power 1000. And what a bit of kit this is. It comes with two top kits, one inside the pole and one externally. It also comes with a cupping kit as well. And let me tell you about value for money. This actually comes in at £270 and you get a hell of a lot for your money. The pole at 10 metres is extremely stiff. It's extremely responsive on the strike as well. And it, it's not heavy, it can be fished at 10 metres. Uh, so for a margin pole, that, that says something uh, about the quality that you're getting. And as for top kits, all of our signature, definition and Oculus all fit on this pole. So the Signature Pro Power 1000 pole, 270 pounds, two top kits, one cupping kit, extremely stiff, great value for money. The next pole in our range is the Definition by Rayglass and it comes in a 13 metre and a 14 half metre package. It comes with three commercial kits and one in the pole and a cupping kit and what a hell of a lot of pole you get for your money here. 
coming in at £750 for the 13 metre model and £850 for the 14 and a half metre model, you're on to a winner. And as you can see at the end of the pole, it's extremely stiff. The responsiveness on the strike is fantastic. Really strong. I know the lads have had this out on the bank and it's come back with absolutely superstar reviews. So the definition excess, definitely one to go for. Next up in the rage is the MVR performance pole. Now again, this comes in a 13 metre and a 14 and a half metre choice. Um, and it's 899 for the 13 metre and 999 for the 14 and a half metre. Comes with five kits and a cupping kit. And a recurring theme that we find out as the price goes up, so does the stiffness of the pole. And this is an absolutely dream to hold at 13 metres. Um, price goes up, so does the technology. It's got the black core finish as well. Come standard with our poles, the M7 and the Super Lithium inside as well. So as you can see on the strike, extremely responsive and it's a super well-balanced pole with lots of strength. Again, the lads have had this out on the bank and I've had rave reviews about it. Um, so definitely one to have a look at. Now we're up to our 16 metre poles and what a better place to start is the MVR competition and what package this comes with. 10 kits, including your cupping kits. It actually comes with a fighting number four as well. And straight away, the stiffness is, is, of this pole is fantastic. Uh, on the strike, it's extremely responsive, extremely, and the recoil, it's hardly any recoil there, to be fair. This is coming in at 1,700 quid. And you actually get a lot of carbon for your money. So with this pole, obviously, ray glass pole, Nanolift te technology, you've got your magic steps, your fusion joints and your black core finish as well. It's an awesome bit of kit. Right, we're on to the Oculus 799. This actually comes with SIP kits, including your cupping kits and a mini extension. And I've been speaking to Andy Kinder about this pole and he absolutely loves it. It's amazing value for money. So this is actually coming in at 12.30. Um, straight away down the pole. Let's have a look at the way it strikes. There we go. So looking down the pole, what can we see? You've got that lovely rigidity on the strike. It comes back lovely. Hardly any recall there as well. So these ones are 12.30. Again with the uh, re-glass pole. Um, got the black core technology as well. And it's got the super lithium inside. Um, fantastic pole for the money at 12.30. And here we have the Oculus 999 XS. And in Andy Kinder's words, it's a belt-in pole for the money. So it comes with nine kits, including the cupping kit. Comes with a mini extension. And what a fantastic pole this is. As you can see on the strike, it's got ultimate rigidity. Hardly any recoil, and it's light as anything. And that's the Oculus 999 XS. And this one's coming in at 1550. Right, now we're moving up to some serious stuff. The creme de la creme of the poles within the Maver range. And we'll start with the, the Signature Pro 821. And first impressions, I cannot fault this pole. It is the stiffest pole that I've ever held. Um, it comes in two packages. So you've got the match package and the commercial package. So the match package comes with 11 kits and some, short, uh, some spare fours and so on and so forth. And as you can see, looking down the pole, it is an absolute poker. On the recall, hardly anything at all. The responsiveness of this pole is like nothing I've ever seen before. You're looking down the pole and the tip's lifted straight when you strike and it's set straight back where it should be, straight back down. So fantastic pole, 16 metres, 2650 is the price on it and it's worth every penny. Now here we have the Signature Pro 921 and this is a pole that I actually own myself. And much like the Signature Pro 821, this actually comes with a, a, a cracking commercial package of 13 kits. Um, and what a pole it is. Again, it's got a higher grade of carbon than the 821, which explains the price difference. This is rocking in at 3400. Uh, it's actually got an M8 grade of carbon. The 821's got the M7 grade of carbon. And let's have a look at the strike. So again, an extremely responsive pole, extremely rigid. It's an absolute joy to hold. So yeah, this one's coming in at £3,400, 16 metre pole, uh, commercial and match packages available, as well as an array of um, fours and short fours as well.
And finally, we're on to our absolute flag flagship pole, which is the Super Lithium. Uh, I've never held this pole before. This is the first time I've ever held it. And it's an absolute dream to hold. First impressions, it's ex extremely slim. So it's actually built on a different mandrel to the other poles, the 921, the 821, and so on and so forth. It's actually built with the highest grade carbon available in the market. So that's the M9 carbon. As you can imagine, at, that, at the price tag, tag of 3950, it comes with every single little bit of um, technology that Ray Glass can throw at it. Same sort of commercial and match package as the 921 and the 821. So let's have a look and see how it performs. So again, extremely rigid. It's like a poker and the responsiveness, extremely responsive as well. Hardly any recoil. If I was going to be using this pole, obviously, a cracking shallow pole. Uh, it's an absolute dream to hold. And, I like how slim it is as well. So the Super Lithium 3950, uh, great bit of kit, absolutely awesome. And here we have our range of smoke kits, ranging from 69.99 to 89.99. What a fantastic thing. The back in stock now, so if you're interested, have a word with your local rep.